great driving experience. So sporty and I like how it feels in the curves when you drive it. This car is very versatile and it fits to almost every use case and road. I think it's a perfect combination of a street car and an off-roader. It was really a pleasure to drive this car. Modern, sporty and luxury, safe, connected and sustainable. That's what we expect from a car. Here in the beautiful surroundings of Immendingen in the south of Germany, they have a car just like that. Let's check it out. Today we're driving in the new GLC SUV. This car is so amazing because we gave it a new dynamic exterior and an innovative high quality interior. The large screens are already standard. Besides, we made it way more efficient with great aerodynamics and all electric engines. They're either with 48 volt ISG technology or plug-in hybrids. Right now, we're driving a plug-in hybrid with ranges of more than 100 kilometers, which is pretty amazing. 11 kilowatt charging will be standard and 60 kilowatt DC charging will be optional. And you probably hear the quietness of the cabin, which is amazing. Well, basically the GLC was the most successful model of the last two years. So fleet customers really loved the old model and now with the new model they have even more benefits. For example, we have improved the O2 emissions due to uh, more efficient uh, aerodynamics. We have uh, three uh, new engines, uh, FEF engines, with electric ranges up to 130 kilometers even. Um, and another benefit definitely is, uh, is the package logic we now have uh, introduced in the new GLC, meaning that a lot of options are already preset as standard. The new GLC has the latest MBUX 7th generation standard. It features the same assistance systems you know from the C-Class, like Driving Assistance Package Plus or Distronic, for example. But it also has a lot of feature standard like Parktronic and Rear View Camera, as well as Lane Departure Warning. So for the new GLC, we expect top safety ratings. Furthermore, we have increased the trunk by even 70 liters, um, meaning that you have now all the, uh, all the possibilities to store whatever you like. So with all these benefits, uh, I think it's a, it's a very good model for, uh, for attracting uh, fleet customers, existing ones and also new ones. The new GLC starts with a 200 and 300 gasoline engine as well as a 220 diesel, all with ISG 48 volt technology and features three plug-in hybrids, a 300E, 400E and 300DE, all with the range up to 130 kilometers. 11 kW charging will be standard and uh, 60 kW DC charging will be optional. So that means you can charge the vehicle in 30 minutes with DC charging. The range will be more than a thousand kilometers for the diesel. For Mercedes-Benz, the most important thing is to look at the whole life cycle. Means for climate protection, means for resource preservation, we need to conclude the whole value chain in our considerations. So the new JLC has uh, one of the best CO2 uh, emissions in its segment. Um, that is due to new efficient diesel and gasoline engines that are all coming with uh, improved uh, aerodynamics. Um, plus uh, the uh, standard options uh, such as the Parktronic with rear view camera will definitely uh, help optimize uh, the residual values of this car. So the GLC is one of our best sellers in the fleet channel. This is due to its versatility and it's due to addressing the right and very diverse target groups such as families, single persons, best agers. So it very much fits to every business and private use. The new GLC will be introduced in Europe end of September for the 200, 300 and 220 diesel. The plug-in hybrids will follow in December. With the new GLC, Mercedes has succeeded in setting new standards in efficiency, safety, connectivity, sustainability and luxury comfort. It's a pleasure to drive and it's really eco-friendly and it has everything to become a new bestseller in fleet. Go check it out! <music>